Uh, this right here looks like a pretty decent spot. Uh, there's all kinds of oak trees all around me here. A couple of scattered uh, beech trees here and there. Right behind me, going out that way, is a trail that comes down. There's another one over my shoulder going back up in this way. Back off this side, let me just show you this. It drops right off hard back here. So, you know, the deer do travel along that, I'm sure, there, but it'll help keep the deer from getting in behind me. And that tree right here is, uh, let me, that looks like uh, I could have some pretty good cover. That'd be on the left side of the tree there, so I'm left handed. Uh, and up over here on this side is a ridge there that they, it's kind of like a natural funnel there. There's a little saddle in here too. I've still got a lot of uh, area to cover up in here, but uh, this is looking like a, a pretty good spot there, and it should be pretty, pretty quick to get back in here too. Uh, we'll keep on looking around. I want to get up on this next ridge here and see what that looks like. This is uh, within a hundred yards of that little clearing down there. This comes up onto a little knob and then continues up onto the hill there, but this knob there it's hard to see the beds here, but there's beds all through here, uh, and it's pretty good country there. This might be a decent spot. Some turkeys clucking right down here. I'm going to see if I can get up here and see them. Well, wouldn't you know it, rain. Uh, I'm going to put this camera up there uh, so we don't get it wet. But I'm probably about 400 yards further north than that last uh, area that we was in. And I've just kind of zigzagged back and forth through here trying to get the lay of the land. And up ahead of me there is uh, a bunch of little finger ridges there. And it's going to walk along the edge of those and see if I can find any bedding or more oak trees. There's scattered oaks all through here. Okay, up behind me uh, is the top of a little knoll and uh, I found several beds up there and quite a bit of rubs on small saplings there. Uh, and this trail right behind me here comes right down along and I think I'm gonna one of my locations is gonna be right here. Here's a look from what it's gonna look like from the tree stand position. Way off to this side uh, it looks like you're using that some and the main trail is right out in front of me. Uh, there's some hemlocks in the way and if he crosses over here on this trail I won't even be able to see him. Uh, I'm almost thinking I'm going to need to use this hemlock over here but if I use that then he's going to be almost halfway through here before I can uh, get a shot at him. I don't know. I'll have to think this over a little bit more. Uh, it's gonna be... I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, I've got to come back up here and make sure that uh, this fresh sign here uh, in about two or three weeks. So, I'm back up in the same spot that I was in the other day. Uh, I had the property lines messed up, so I've got to rewalk one side. 
and uh, check things out. Uh, and basically what I'm doing is just going up the side of this ridge and looking for trails that are running along the edge of it or going up over the top uh, and seeing what there is for feed and bedding. You know, you watch this GPS there and you'll see terrain features and almost always, I mean, you can pick out wh exactly where the trails are going to be. I mean, this is a pretty nice beat down trail and that's why I'm here, because I could see the feature on the GPS and uh, you walk right to it. Uh, I'm going to go down below here just a little bit. This kind of drops off and flattens out and then it tips off on that side there and I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything coming around. There should be. I can tell you one thing. You'd be hard pressed to get an arrow through this stuff. I mean it is thick. So this main trail here that I'm standing on uh, goes over this little finger ridge and if you follow it back down this way it's headed right towards that uh, location that I picked the other day for a tree stand there when I first got in here uh, and I'd say this is right where that's headed. Uh, what I'm going to do is continue uphill and leave this trail uh, and see if there's any bedding up on top of here. I'm pretty sure there is but we'll check her out. So I'm up on top now and uh, according to Google Earth there, there should have been a mess of uh, pine up here uh, and I don't see hardly any there. It's all mostly uh, open hardwood there and mostly oak. Uh, and looks like the deer was in here last year eating it. Uh, but there isn't any bedding up here at all, unless they're just bedding up here in the middle of these oaks uh, while they're feeding. So I'm going to drop off this uh, west side there and see if there's a trail going around uh, Matter of fact, I know there was there because I run into it down below and left it. I'm going to see if I can pick that trail up and then go around to the far end of this knob there and uh, see if there's a crossing on the other end of it. I know it's probably pretty hard to see there, but this is uh, a bunch of beds right here. Uh, so apparently, uh, at least some of the time, they are bedding right out in the open. Uh, I bet there's, you know, it's probably a doe and a pair of fawns, or maybe a couple of does they have been hanging out in here, but there's beds everywhere. Uh, nice trail going off, down off this end of the hill. There's a lot of uh, scattered beach and oak up in here and uh, I'm seeing a few nuts here and there but not a lot especially the beech nuts there I've seen very few so far uh, there is a few uh, acorns here and there but uh, not a lot of them so far the way that bedding is set up uh, it's right up here and you know if the winds coming out of the north it's blowing right back this way and they can see down off this hill in behind me here uh, is a classic scenario there's a bunch more beds right here no, uh, over there right there over there oh, and we're probably oh another hundred yards off that last bed site If uh, I decide to take some does there, this might be a pretty good morning spot to get in here for daylight there and catch them coming back in. Uh, 
we'll see how things go. There's a scrape right there and a small rub. Uh, it doesn't look like any monster, but sometimes it's hard to tell too. Those rubs are uh, right over here and I've come down off that hill and there's like a little saddle and it goes back up onto another ridge we're on the north end of it and then it drops off on this side and we're at a T intersection there there's a nice trail coming down this way going back up that way and then there's the trail that disconnects into goes back down over the hill here Well, I pretty well got this piece uh, looked over there. Uh, I got a pretty good idea what's going on now. Uh, I'm going to head back to the car, get myself a nice cold drink before we head to the next spot.